everybody. Uh, hi. I am so excited for you to see our last five episodes. Super cool, very intense, and I'm really excited for you guys to see them. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to attempt to answer some questions that you wrote in for me uh, on my Facebook page. So here I go. Uh, from Jessica C. in Singapore, if you had dinner with one person, dead or alive, who would you choose and why? Uh, William Shakespeare, because uh, he was the first playwright that I just fell madly in love with, and I always thought he really defined uh, that period. Uh, and he was so brilliant. All the um, all the stuff that he has written is so uh, telling of our times today. Like if you can do Shakespeare, you can really do anything as an actor. But um, but I still feel like a lot of a lot of stuff that he talked about relationships and and love and jealousy and all those things are just, they're human emotions and so it'd be interesting to pick his brain over some pasta. <laughs> uh, next question is from Roman Luke. Uh, what is your best childhood memory? Uh, it would have to be you know, traveling with my grandparents and my family uh, in Yugoslavia, former Yugoslavia. Uh, we used to spend our summers in Dubrovnik, which is a beautiful town on the Adriatic. And I just remember, you know, going swimming every day on these, like, these gorgeous, like, rock beaches and my grandma being topless. I was, like, seven and wearing my bikini top, but she had hers off and she'd be diving into the ocean. <laughs> it's Europe! Uh, so I just remember that, and that was really, that was really a beautiful time. Uh, Sarah Cruz from Portugal. If you could have a superpower for one day, what would it be and why? Uh, definitely flying because I don't like traffic I don't like driving living in LA is there's a lot of traffic so I would definitely say flying uh, Maria Brandt from Berlin what's the most embarrassing song on your iPod it'd have to be something from George Michael probably faith uh, Beatrice Ruiz from Texas how does it make you feel knowing that you inspire many young girls with your role of Dr. Isles uh, it feels great. I am so proud to be part of a show that has uh, so many strong women on it, from our creator, uh, Janet Tamaro, and Tess Gerritsen, who wrote the original books, and Angie Harmon, and Lorraine Bracco. We just have a lot of cool women on the show, and, um, and I'm proud that we represent women with all of their colors and all their emotions, and, you know, and, and that we can be... Um, that we can be intelligent and we can be opinionated and we can be vulnerable and all the things that women really are. So I'm, I'm really proud of the fact that, that, you know, especially, you know, for me, Dr. Isles reaches, reaches girls.